Hello my friends, so I am going to share with you a lovely neck and shoulder workout um, and um, if you need one do get a scarf handy, it really helps for mobility especially when raising arms. So the thing about when you get stiff neck, stiff shoulders, yes sometimes it's because you've been working them really hard, maybe you're on crutches or something that puts a lot of pressure, um, but quite often the main reason we have neck and shoulder ache is because we've been really still holding in one position. One of the biggest things is your head leaning forward, looking over devices and that, means there's a constant strain in that neck which connects right between your shoulders and that's why you get really stiff and achy here. So before we think about actually stretching, um, what I find beneficial is to actually do a lot of movement, get all the joints juiced up, um, get um, the, the muscles stretching and flexing naturally, um, and then we'll finish with some delicious stretches. So all in all, it should feel delicious. So beginning, beginning, we're just going to start with our chin. <laughs> and um, it's, use your chin as your guide. So imagine your chin is on a flat surface. You can even put your hand there to make sure that it sits nice and comfortably. And you're just gonna push your chin to me and just pull your chin in so you get a nice double, triple, quadruple chin like mine. And then you push the chin forward and gently come back. Now don't overdo any movement. If you hear funny cricks or noises, just ease off from the extent to which you do it. But we're just going to move the chin forward and gently come back. And we'll do this on a breath. So breathe in. Exhale forward, breathe in back, exhale forward, breathe in back, exhale forward, nice and gentle, you're not having to push your head ridiculously forward, if I just show you say sideways, so it's just gently forward, gently pull back, you're keeping your chin level and you're just gently getting some movement into that neck. Okay, now our next move, we're going to just gently push, tilt our chin slightly to the side and then slightly to the other way. So your chin is your guide, so just gently tilt it one way, come to center and just gently tilt the other way. So you're starting to get a little bit of movement in the muscles here. Tilt your chin one way and tilt it the other, nice and slow. When you move slowly, not only does it give everything time to stretch, but it also gives you time to register if anything feels wrong, if anything feels good, if you want to pause anywhere. So very, very gentle and come back. The last thing you want to do is really go into a really strong movement, which puts a lot of strain down the neck. We're going to use our nose now as a guide. I find this is the best guide for the extent to which you move your neck and your head. Um, and we're going to just draw a little smile with our nose. Um, and by following the nose, it's a lot less extreme than, than using the whole weight of the head, which will start to pull on those neck muscles. So just gently turn to the side, draw a little smile with your nose up to the other side. And then we'll go back again, draw a smile from side to side. Nice and gently move nice and slowly because the other thing about moving your head, sometimes feel a bit dizzy. So you want to take everything nice and slowly. Just gentle movement, just getting circulation into those stiff, sore muscles. Lovely. You might be hearing all kinds of um, crunches, snap, crackle, pop. And then very, very slowly bring your face to me. Hello everyone. So we're starting to warm it up a little bit. We're going to very gently draw a little nose arc now. 
make it as shallow as it needs to be, you'll, you will hear, your neck will tell you whether it's gone too far or whether it feels all right. So you'll probably hear crackle, crackle, but um, just very, very gently following the, your nose as a guide, just draw a little arc, just nice and slowly. Um, to make things really effective, if you can use the breath, exhale, breathe in, and exhale, one more time, breathe in, and exhale, and then very slowly turn to face me. Lovely. So we're just starting to move very gently those neck muscles. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is if you are sitting in the seat, it's really nice to have your feet feeling secure and firm. And if you need to, if your feet are dangling a wee bit and you need to prop them up on pillows or cushions, do so because it helps maintain a nice straight posture because the other thing about relief for neck and shoulders is being able to, as much as you can, straighten up. So we're going to look at a little bit of our pop posture. So your crown of head ideally facing up to the ceiling. Your neck is in line with all the way to the bottom of the spine in a nice straight line. Shoulders rolled back, shoulders, hips directly over each other. That's in theory what our bodies are supposed to be doing and in that posture we shouldn't be putting any unnecessary strain on any joints. What happens is this, ticks, ticks, ticks. So trying to maintain coming up, feet, feet as firm as you can because that helps to give you a base to rise up from. Um, and we're now going to do just a little bit of shoulder movement. Neck and shoulders are so interconnected, literally in muscles, that one helps the other. Okay, so we're going to start loosening up those shoulders. So take a breath in as you bring that shoulder up to the ear and then exhale, roll it back. Now hold that back, start the next one. Breathe it in up to the ear. Exhale, roll it back. Now what you want to do as your shoulder comes down, try and keep the neck long. So you might, if, if your ear and your shoulder are connected, you're not going to achieve anything. So you want to keep nice, keep that chin level with the floor, crown of head pointing up to the ceiling. So the shoulder meets the ear, not the other way around. And then you're going to shrug that back and then let rest. Breathe in, exhale. And as that shoulder pulls back, it will pull the other one forward. Breathe in up to the ear, exhale back. Breathing up to the ear, exhale back. Try and maintain a nice straight posture. Keep that crown of the head to the ceiling. Look at me, keep eye contact. That way we can make sure our faces are facing front, crown to the ceiling, chin above, rising. So you have nice length in the neck and then just shrug it out. So we're just really starting to get movement, juice in the joints, that's my favourite phrase. And for the fun of it, shall we just reverse? Always feels a little strange. Um, now, because you want to focus on shoulders, try not to let your hand do the movement. Keep your hands pinned to your thighs or wherever they'll reach, so that you know it's just your shoulder moving and not your hand making it move. So you want to initiate all the movement is from the shoulders. And as I said, when you come forward, it does feel a little bit weird. So we go back again. What we could do is some really good music just to rock and roll to, literally. Roll in those shoulders and then just give it a little shake. Shake whatever you can. It's fine to shake the hands, that makes the rest of the body shake, but we're just trying to loosen out all the tension. So we're just going to do a little bit more repetitive 
um, moves for the shoulders just to get everything warming up. So breathe and squeeze to the ears. Exhale. <sighs> Let it drop. Breathe into the ears. Exhale. <sighs> breathe into the ears. High as you can get to the ears. Exhale. <sighs> Good. And the exhale breath is really good at getting toxins as well. So as long as nobody's nearby to get blasted by your breath, it's good. Breathe it up to the ears. Exhale. Breathe it up. Exhale. Breathe it up. Exhale. Breathe it up. One last time. Hold, 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 hold. Hold. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Lovely. So we're now going to start twisting a little bit in the torso. I find twists so delicious and effective. But as ever, you know your own body best. So any movement that doesn't feel quite right, then ease out of it or adjust as feels correct to your body. So we're going to do a little seated twist. So if you rest opposite hand to knee, bring the other hand behind. If you can, you can tuck See, see my fingers? Tuck it round and just, in fact, slide the hand down so it's lightly down the side. And you're just going to use that to help gently press your torso around just as far as you're comfortable. And what is nice is to be able to then look over your shoulder so you can gently stretch the neck in that position as well. So follow with your nose slowly round till you're looking over the opposite shoulder or as far as your neck will allow. And take a breath in. On the in-breath, you get tall. On the exhale, that back shoulder opens. Breathe in tall. Exhale, let that shoulder press back. Trying to keep length between the neck and the shoulder if you can. If it's too much to have the hand behind the back, just rest it behind you. Just as long as you're nice and straight and tall in the in the torso and just gently, gently light pressure to just twist that torso around. And then slowly on an exhale, unwind. And we'll do the same on the other side. So bring in your hand to rest on the knee. The other hand you can just take behind. The further behind you can get your hand, the easier it is to get that shoulder to come to turn. But just find what your body allows. I like to tuck mine right behind, but that might be too extreme. And then just lightly rest your hand there. Breathe in tall. And on an exhale, let your torso turn, 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 letting that back shoulder pull back. And now with your nose, breathe in. And follow the nose gently till you're looking over that shoulder. Every breath in, you grow tall. Every exhale, breathe those shoulders back and down. So you're trying to pull them down away from the ears. Breathe it through, breathe it through. And last time, breathe in straight and tall. Exhale, slowly follow the nose around as you come out of the twist. Oh, it's feeling better, but what you often find, I certainly find it, is that as I start to move the body, all that lactic acid and all that stagnant blood, as you're loosening up the muscles, it starts to make things even more achy. You can feel it all and you really feel, oh, I need more stretching. So the next thing we're going to do is a little shoulder press. So just rest your hands lightly on the, the chair and just push one shoulder forward and then push the other one forward. Okay, so you're keeping your hands nice and grounded. You will find if you put a little pressure through the hand, it will help press that shoulder forward and then push that shoulder forward. So just push and push and push. If your hands aren't comfortable to the sofa, you can try this with your hands on the lap. But I find it feels quite nice to have my arms wide. So posture, try and hold your core muscles in. That will help maintain a nice straight back. And just 
trying to keep it's just the shoulders you're moving that's the other thing about having the hands pinned it means they're not doing the movement it's all in the shoulders and your shoulders are taking a walk so you just step forward 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 nice straight spine pull up the pelvic floor if you can find it otherwise just pull in your stomach muscles keeping nice and tall so that crown of head is going up to the ceiling frankly just letting your head point up to the ceiling it's a relief if what you do a lot is your head forward all the time. If you're poring over books, phones, anything, we all have a tendency to curl and round over what we're focused on. And it just pulls a big strain down our neck. So just having everything stacked in alignment, head, shoulders, hips, everything aligned, it just can take a lot of the pressure off. So go for a faster walk. walk <laughs> do what you can do if this is too much if you find your arms are flinging then just slow it down or reduce the size but otherwise get those shoulders to go for a walk for you keep those hands pinned and the more pressure you can put into the hands the more you can get those shoulders to move <laughs> as long as you don't feel silly that's fine it's like um, the build up to a shimmy. Good, well done, well done. So we'll start to get movement in. We're now going to go on to a bit of stretching and if you've got a scarf handy or even a resistance band or something that you have to help um, increase the range of what is possible. So we're going to do um, just a nice uh, opening of the shoulders. Um, and if you, um, Grab your scarf with one hand and just bring it behind your back. So you're holding it behind. With your other hand, try and find the, 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 the scarf and then walk your hand up that scarf. If I turn around, there you go, you see I'm walking my hand up, the other one comes up and my hands are walking towards each other. And it's a way of really bringing a bit of flexibility into those shoulders. Um, and you aim for your elbow up and the other hand. So try and pull your scarf apart, like you're trying to tear it apart so it becomes a more active role. Keep your posture muscles in, so that's your stomach um, and the pelvic floor if you can. Now, if having your elbow up to the sky or your arm pinned back like that is not viable, loosen it off. Maybe hold the scarf to there, maybe hold the scarf here. Just do find what you can do okay so I was one end of the extreme you can do this and if you pull against that scarf that's going to really suck because what we're trying to do it's not just introduce flexibility into the shoulder but also strength because if your muscles here are stronger they're much less liable to start caving in so if you retrain those muscles to give you good posture it should help ease a lot of the ache so hold that scarf one end hold it the other and then just pull against it make sure it's not a scarf you love and that you will worry about it being ripped <laughs> but just get a little bit of stretch 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 you might get muscle shakes brilliant and then release that down and just give it all a shake and guess what we're going to do the same the other side so with the other hand, just so it's behind the back rather than front or to the side, and just as far as your arm will reach. Okay, so just whatever you can do. You don't want to go beyond a point where it's desperately uncomfortable. You want to keep it within range. This is to relax um, and to stretch and strengthen, but it's not to make it go even worse and more contracted. So hold the scarf at the other end. You can do a resistance like that. Try and maintain that posture. Try not to arch or bow. You want to keep nice and straight and tall, crown of head to the ceiling. It's all about the shoulders and opening them up. So really you can resist by pulling that scarf apart. If you feel you've got more flexibility, you can wind and walk your hand up the scarf and it can help bring and pin one shoulder up, one elbow up, one elbow down. But as I said, it's fine to just go, if you're feeling a good stretch, excellent. And then release and then just give it a shake. 
shaking it out. So shaking actually literally helps release tension in muscles and helps shake all the circulation in. Um, so, <laughs> scarf again. <laughs> I find it really useful for shoulders using a scarf. So um, it's one we've done before, but hold that forward. So, and just try and pull the scarf apart and you'll feel engage your shoulders. So it's pulling apart and release. Pull apart, release. Pulling apart, release. If you don't have a scarf, you can try it with the muscles. Just pull, try, like you're trying to pull the fingers apart. You're trying to tear them apart and at the same time you're trying to lock them together. So you're using isometric strength to but scarf is just as good or any object where you can hold one and hold the other and then really try and as you pull what it's doing it helps squeeze the shoulder blades together so as you pull on this scarf consciously squeeze those shoulders together as you squeeze them together you notice how I've gone from here you squeeze the shoulders those shoulders go right back down where they're supposed to be your neck nice and long above it so squeeze if you find it's too tense because then just, um, and your shoulders want to go up to your ears, just lower your hands so that you can still feasibly do it and keep those shoulders down. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. So we're going to do use the breath. So breathe in, prepare. On an exhale, pull, squeeze the shoulders together, squeeze those clothes together and release. Take a breath in. On an exhale, pull the scalp apart, pull those shoulders down, neck rising like a swan above. And release. One more time. It's good for strengthening the wrist too, isn't it? One more time. Breathe in. Get tall. Are you ready? Exhale, pull the scalp apart, pull the shoulders down, the shoulder blades together, nice and strong. And release. I tell you what, I'm getting quite hot from all that. So we're just going to finish with some lovely, lovely stretches. So um, just to begin with, have your hands nice resting either side of you. Pull those shoulders down. Just going to very gently tilt your ear towards your shoulder. Now with the opposite hand, see if you can have a little walk around because sometimes you feel a bit of a sweet spot somewhere else. You feel it just pulls it just the right way. And when you've found that place, just pause it there. You might find it's fine there. But notice it feels slightly different according to where you put your hand. And every day is different. Every time of day is different. So you never quite know where that will be. And with your other hand, because we don't want the neck muscle to have to work too much, just gently press your head up. Okay, so we'll do the same the other side. Just gently Start tilting ear to shoulder. It doesn't have to go far. Stop where it feels enough because you want to relax it, not make it contract. So just find the point where you think, yep, that's the one. And then with your fingers, start walking. Walk away. I've got a cushion in the way. <laughs> you might have two. Walk it behind and just kind of settle on where you think feels the most effective place. Just extend that arm away. Sometimes if you flex the wrist, that can pull a bit more, but you might find that actually you don't want to pull any more than it already is. Nice. Now with the other hand, just gently, lovely, press your head up. So we'll do a few more little stretches. That's another isometric one. So if you can, bring your hands behind your head and you're just going to push your head against your hands as your hands push against your head. If that's not that's not viable, guess what? <laughs> it's always a scarf. <laughs> and so, try and get it as taut as you can so that it's just a, you know, nice and strong. And you're just gently going to push your head against that. So you're pull against your head and your head will push against and it it's strange it, it doesn't look like you're doing anything but you will feel the difference so that's isometrics again using natural body force so it's as as much force as your body 
the herb can handle. Lovely and release. And finally, let's do some nice little neck rolls. So nose as a guide, very, very small, very gentle, just gently round. Don't do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Don't do anything that makes you dizzy. Find what feels good. Follow the nose. You might want to pause. You might find looking over your shoulder is the right thing for you. Or you might find just gently looking up a little bit. Because bearing in mind, if your neck is always down here, then a little gentle opposite direction might be beneficial. And just feel Listen to your neck. It's constantly talking to you and telling you where it's stiff, where it's sore, where it's crunchy. And just use your nose. Follow the nose. Nice and gentle. Lovely. So that was just a short little neck and shoulder special. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, and feedback and I'm always happy to make um, anything that you feel uh, you could do with so if there's um, some kind of routine or something you want me to focus on do let me know um, I'm happy to help so as ever if you can like or subscribe I am extremely grateful and I hope you enjoy more videos thank you